Hello my name is Raidner, and I am a PhD student at Federal University of Uberlandia, Brazil. I will be presenting the thesis entitled, Virtual Reality Training of My Electric Prosthesis with the Use of Sensory Feedback and Serious Game Techniques. With Professor Edgard Lemounier as advisor and Professor Alzheimer Soros as co-advisor. The final fitting of the prosthesis, together with the therapeutic steps and traditional training, can take many months to complete, requiring significant effort on the part of the amputee. Training in virtual environments is an alternative to traditional training. Most of the upper limb prosthetic training systems based on virtual reality, reported in the literature, are based on non-immersive environments. And this ends up limiting the user experience, it's important to provide users with a touch field to enhance the experience and potentially provide sensations usually present during training with real devices. This feedback is especially crucial for myelectric prostheses. Given the potential of the area of virtual reality applied in rehabilitation, this research is based on the following hypothesis. The integration of immersive virtual reality with the use of tactile feedback in the process of training users of upper limb prostheses provides a more natural and interactive environment during the process of training amputees for prosthesis control. Based on this, we have the following project. The development of an immersive virtual reality environment with tactile feedback and myelectric control. The system is controlled from a control panel, where data from therapists and patients are recorded. Also, the sessions are configured, defining the size of objects, maximum time and general settings. The main components of the system are the HTC Vive Pro, Vive Tracker, responsible for tracking limb movement, EMG controller, for data acquisition and pattern recognition, and a vibrational armband. For the preliminary tests, eight non-amputee volunteers were divided into two groups, where the first has vibrational and visual feedback when grabbing a virtual object, while the second group has only visual feedback. The EMG electrodes were placed on the relevant muscles in the forearm, along the longitudinal midline of the flexor carpi radialis muscle, and the reference electrode was placed on the contralateral wrist. Before each session, the system must be calibrated to set the EMG envelope range limits. This calibration is required only once to set the values for the fully closed or open hand. The tasks consisted of four tests of the box and blocks test. On each attempt, volunteers must move all the blocks from one side of the box to the other as quickly as possible. The time to complete each trial was recorded. In the first sessions, volunteers learn to control the virtual prosthesis through myelectric signals and adapt to the virtual environment. Therefore, the first two trials required a longer time to be complete. Although the initial mean value of G1 was considerably higher than the initial mean value of G2, the group that used vibrational tactile feedback showed better overall performance. On average, the group 2 took 2.3 times longer to complete the task on the fourth attempt. Although both experimental groups showed improvement in the control of the virtual myelectric prosthesis throughout the trials, participants in the group that used tactile vibrational feedback performed better as the trials progressed, compared to the group that did not use tactile feedback. These preliminary results indicate that sensory feedback is actually able to provide a better overall experience when optimizing training sessions using immersive virtual reality environments. For future work, it is proposed to carry out more tests in the BBT environment and in two other environments that are under development, as well as performing tests with amputees users. We thank the Federal University of Uberlandia and the University of Qatar for their support. Thank you.